Hi everyone, welcome to July, and it's already halfway through the year. Can't believe this year has gone by so quickly. Like, I'm like, what have I done this year? Not too much. <laughs> But yeah, bullet journaling throughout June was really fun for me because as much as I love coffee, I love seeing those like coffee cues and it kind of really made me want to drink more coffee and kind of like be like, oh my gosh, I really should practice. <laughs> and yeah, I really loved having these bundles. They gave me so much freedom to write and doodle, as you can see. I um, Because the space was so big, I wrote bigger days and that was really fun because yeah. When you have a lot of space to do things, you get to do them and you can't really have an excuse for saying like, oh, there, there wasn't enough space. So I really use the space to like doodle and oh, these ones here. I really love these. And yeah, coffee had a lot of things to doodle on. So like these mocha pods, takeaway cups and things like that. Pick a theme that you really like that's going to get you like wanting to like doodle more if that's your thing. And seeing how this month really filled out, like these spreads, definitely was a cue for me. Like, okay, this is like a successful theme choice. Um, the theme for July, I've chosen it to be books and reading because, like I said, when I saw so many things related to coffee with my bullet journal spread, I kind of really wanted, wanted more coffee and like, it just made me crave it. And so... I'm hoping that by having a reading, like a book theme and a reading theme, I'll be able to kind of just get myself to reach out and grab a book and actually read. <laughs> I started reading a tiny bit um, at the end of June and so I'm hoping that will continue and what better visual cue than having books all over your bullet journal. <laughs> I've also included some windows because I feel like books are really something like a window it kind of just opens you up to a new kind of world i guess and so yeah that's why when i was drafting these like i really wanted to have windows as well and so i have a little quote down there reading is food for the mind it's very cliche but it's so true so i'm just going around now coloring in things giving some accents and yeah i'm using i used a furenosuke hard tip pen and a Tombow dual brush pen and a blue coloring and pencil just to color in the sky and make it blue. I really want a blue um, brush pen I think I will try and get one. Moving on to the monthly spread as I've done with the with like my last couple of spreads as well like my last couple of um, plan with me I am doing the 30 31 31 days of books and so I have books for each day of the month and they look really lumpy can you tell that my hands were super shaky like I think I had I already had like two cups of coffee this day and yeah I'm just going back and forth from my monthly spread to my um, habit tracker just on the side and so up top I wrote July and drew a little window and a black cat just sitting on the windowsill um yeah and just giving it the days writing out the little numbers and give it a drop shadow is it just me or do everyone do, does like everyone kind of want that like really big window in their house where they can just like read but then <laughs> realistically when you're sitting in front actually reading you're gonna get super sunburned <laughs> but yeah that's kind of what i was going for with these doodles i just wanted like a really big window it was like lots of books although i don't have like these many books yeah I'm just going back to my other spread to see what my habit trackers were. Honestly, like you do it like pretty much every every month, but you forget and so I just went back and forth and it's okay. This page, I think I used it as like a personal spread last month, but um, this month I'm using it as the monthly goals page. And so this will be like my cue, like I'll come back to it and remind myself. These are the things that I really want to get done throughout this month. And so I'll have like my big goals on this month and also like any big events that are coming up, I can write them down on this day as well. And just to finish up, I gave it a border and at the bottom I had some books and so I added some color to it because it was a little bit boring just being all white.
The planning out page is usually the page I use for video um, planning or things to do with like my freelance things. And yeah, I just drew a little plant on the windowsill and I gave it some finishing touches for both the pages and drop shadows just make everything look nice. <laughs> And like I said, I'm coming back to um, experimenting with some more bundles. This time I'm using the um, both sides and I hope to see kind of which orientation I prefer. And so I guess I'll find out as I'm doing this um, spread for this month. And so I'm using books again to um, mark off each day of the week. And... To be honest with you, I was feeling a little bit uninspired and a little bit disappointed because I planned out the spread quite a few times and it was re looking really good in my draft. But then when I, when I actually got around to doing it, my hands weren't working very well. Like that's a very bad excuse, but it didn't turn out how I wanted. So you can see my calligraphy is just going everywhere. But that kind of shows you how like unmotivated I was just at the time. But I had my fiance like really um, supporting me and so I hope you guys have those like supportive people around you as well. I have my ideas page, very simple and boring but I always love seeing it filled up at the end of the month and so I kind of tried to make this eye look like a book but it just turned out looking like a little lumpy block. <laughs> Moving on to my expense tracker page, nothing different from all the other months I think just keeping it the same I'm just drawing a book and a window as it is my theme doodle things and my little cat who just appeared I actually hadn't thought of having the cat but she just came and stayed last page is my discovery page and last month I watched a few like programs and documentaries and that page filled up so quickly and so I guess I'll really enjoy seeing how this page fills up throughout the month of July as well. I'm outlining the word discovery um, with my blue coloring in pencil and just coloring in the blue for the sky and yeah my very round lumpy letters for the discovery page and yeah this is the final flip through for the month of july on books and windows i hope that this month i will be more inspired to read books and yeah hoping that i'll get the monthly goals really achieved and most importantly i hope I will be supportive to people around me as much as people support me as well. And um, thank you for sticking around. I'll see you guys in the next month. Bye!